Um, our university is located in the city of Vienna and is specialized on promoting sustainable energy. And this is, is one of the reasons why we are coordinating this project because it fits to our university and it fits to our goals. Um, in my introduction, I would like to, to show you just a few slides to give you a first impression what is the project about. Because the whole day we will talk about the methodology. So my slides are just about the European project. As mentioned by Silke at the very beginning, this is our first take-up seminar, seminar and in total we have planned um, up to three seminars all over Europe. And you will see later on that the idea of this project and the idea of this consortium is to exchange experiences. You will see that later on that we have partners from more or less all parts of Europe. So, as already mentioned, we started our work the 1st of February 2014. And as you can imagine, when you're working together with 11 partners having eight case studies, it is a, a lot of work of coordinating in advance before you are going to start with the um, case studies with your implementation. So the first year was concentrating on uh, methodological aspects. So the idea of the first year was to agree on the methodology in a very, very detailed form because what we want to do is we want to implement this methodology in all these case studies in a similar way. I wouldn't say in the same way, but in a similar way, just to be able to evaluate the results and finally, of course, to transfer the results. Because finally, at the end of the project, it is planned to have a kind of final conference and to sum up then the results, um, of course, considering different regional aspects. Um, the project is co-funded by the Intelligent Group Program of the European Union. So as I said before, we are talking about um, a kind of intelligent energy use in our project. So, therefore, what is the overall, or what are the overall aims of our Smart Move project? So, first of all, increase the number of public transport users in rural areas, and by doing that, decreasing the mileage driven by motorized car traffic. So, in other words, what we would like to do is, we would like to promote public transport, in particular in rural areas, because most of you, or I'm pretty sure that all of you know, that the problems we currently have in rural areas, and we find out that all these problems are more or less the same all over the world. We have a shrinking um, population, or the number of people is decreasing, we have, um, uh, a lot of elderly people living in these rural areas. We have a decreasing supply of public transport, and so on, and so on. So we have serious problems in rural areas, and what we would like to achieve with our methodology is we would like to promote public transport in rural areas, and by doing that, to um, increase the number of users and to make the system. Uh, more efficient in particular in these <coughs> rural areas. So, talking about the aims, of course, if we are successful, and I mean, I'm the coordinator of the project, that means that I'm the optimistic person, I'm pretty sure that we will be successful, um, and we will hear um, one example of um, a case study where we were responsible a couple of years ago. And I can tell you that we have been success successful already. Um, so the idea is, if you're increasing the number of public transport users, at the same time um, we are using the energy used in a more sufficient way, or in other words, we try to save energy. Um, and 
The second goal, of course, by saving energy means to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. So these are briefly, very briefly, the overall game and the overall goals. And keep that in mind when we are going to discuss then our methodology. This is um, a short overview on the different case studies. You see the green dots here. <coughs> we have eight case studies. And uh, as you can see, from the very southwest to the very southeast and to the north. So we try to, to cover a wide range of different countries, cultures, and what I, what I said previously, we find out similar or same problems in rural areas. Um, the red dots are partners, which means, as you can see, for example, uh, in the UK, the University of York is supporting this methodolog methodological approach. Or our colleagues in uh, Cologne, um, Ruprecht Consult, is responsible for or organizing such events. So you can see a lot of organizational um, issues are behind when you are going to coordinate um, a European project. And finally, I would like to um, give you our contact details. And I want to point out that, of course, uh, we have a web page. So after this uh, event, if you need more information, and I'm pretty sure that we can uh, provide information based on this event, for example, the slides, we can put the slides on, on the website. So at our website, smartmoveproject.au, um, you find them, you will find more information. So this is my first introduction, and um, yeah, well, I wish you and I wish us um, a very informative and interesting um, day.